So this is the last lesson for this project and we're just uh, going to be finishing off. But I wanted to point out a few things before uh, just for you uh, to be able to go into it, one with your putty rubber and just to finish off a few details and to point a few things out. So as you can see you've got the full range of tonal detail uh, here. If we look we'll go to the photograph here because after this I will be actually looking at drawing from actual still life rather than just a photograph because the reason I did this was so that you would flatten the object so that you would start to see to look at 3D objects in that particular way which would make it easier for you to draw. So you've got the reflected light coming here, here and here. Uh, now we're going to look at lost and found lines. So you've drawn everything out. When light hits something, sometimes it actually loses the line. So for example, you can see if you go up here especially to the um, to the photocopy that line here on the outside of the mushroom is lost that's called a lost line so that's a lost line here and that's a found line because it's darker isn't it so come back to your drawing take your putty rubber just take it out because it looks then like the light is coming in so there's a lost line, found line, you found it again because it's darker, there's the contrast. Here you can see the light is hitting the sides of the stalk, so you can take take out that line there, okay? Here, so that's sort of really fading out. Here again, the light is hitting take it out. It doesn't matter because you see your eye puts it in for you. you your eye knows it's there and what happens is that when your uh, people actually look at a painting you don't have to put, you're not painting a photograph, you don't want it to be photographic you just want to have some, you've got to have some artistry in it and when people know like it's a mushroom, it's a tomato, it's a face, or whatever, people actually put certain objects in. You don't have to have everything in there for you. So I'm going to take this out as well Okay, and then with this the putty rubber, with this you can make this very small. You can actually go through everything, tidy, tidy it up. Okay, and then also this is very important. Yeah, I'm not very happy with this stalk. Um, I've made it into a into a flat piece, so it can go across the stalk where the light is catching. You can always go back in and um, with a pencil. Here and here. There's a little bit of light here. Okay, so it actually brings it out. And there's a little bit of light here. If you take too much out, you can go into it again. Here. Uh, just gets in the highlights. So I'm a bit of a, I like my detail. You might not, and that's perfectly fine. You want to leave it like this? That's great. But I just wanted to show you the finishing off techniques that you can use just sort of tidying up. So lost and found lines here, lost, lost, Found, found. Now this can also be lost and found going into shade as well, which we'll do at a, at a future date. Really depends the, on the contrast. So um, I hope you enjoyed that little exercise, and that is the final drawing. I will be looking at uh, more techniques later on. Okay.